Hello everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Makan with Tatomi. My name is Kim. My name is Lucy, and we are from Tatomi, Singapore. If you ask any Singaporean what is the most important part of Singapore heritage, chances are they will answer you: hawker culture. Makan with Tatomi is a series of mini episodes where we bring you around Singapore to explore hawker food. Stay tuned and discover more. After the independence of Singapore in the late 1960s to 1980s, along with the move to turn Singapore into the region's business hub, the government relocated the licensed hawkers into a more organised space with proper amenities like easy access to clean water, which made it safe and hygienic for our hawkers to operate their business. So this is why you will never find any street hawkers in Singapore anymore. It's sad, but as long as there are still good food around, I'm sure all Singaporeans will find a way to it. Talking about food, usually in the morning before my breakfast, I will have Probiotic 10 Plus because it contains good bacteria that can help to keep my gut healthy. Consuming it on an empty stomach can have greater effects in the intestine. Yeah, me too. Before I eat my meal, I will also have apple jelly stick twice a day before food. Two apple jelly stick has a polyphenol content of 45 green apples. Plus, it's so delicious and easy to eat. Shall we eat it now before we head down to the hawker center? Sure, here you go. Thank you. We are now at Maxwell Food Center, located at 1 Katanaya Road Street. Let's check it out. Go. The food that we will be introducing to everyone today is Futo Oyster Cake. Lucy, have you heard or tried before Futo Oyster Cake? Actually, no, I haven't. Yeah. A little history about Futo Oyster Cake. It originated from Futo, where there's an abundant supply of seafood. This dish migrated to the Southeast Asia together with the people of Futo. However, this dish might soon disappear as lesser and lesser people know how to make this oyster cake. Lucy, are you ready to try? Yes, please. Okay, so I'll go get it. Wait for me, huh? <laughs> Apart from being heavy. Yes, yeah. Wow, look at the oyster cake. Let me see what's the ingredient inside. Mm. So there's prawn, meat, oyster, and vegetable. And peanuts. Mm. So let's try. Okay. How was it? Mm, it's very crispy and very savory. It's nice. You can try it together with the chili as well. <laughs> mm, it's so crispy. Yeah. While we enjoy this photo oyster cake, let us bring you to one of the best spots to take photo in Singapore. So next time when our border are fully open, you will know where to go. Hey everyone, so we are now at Marina Bay Sands. Here are two selfie spots that we want to share with you. One is at the Helix Bridge and, and the other one is at the Promenade. So, let's, let's go. go! Okay guys, so we are now on the Helix Bridge. Behind me, there's Art Science Museum, One Fullerton, Esplanade and the Floating Platform. It's a good location for you to have your picture taken. So, let's have some selfie! selfie. Now we have taken our picture on the Helix Bridge. Let's on to the promenade. Let's go! Go! go, go. We are now at our second selfie spot, the left side of the promenade by the Marina Bay Sands. The tip of the day is, a good picture needs a good background. Lucy, can you see the whole stretch of building behind? That's part of the central business district. And it's also our selfie background. Ooh. Yay. Now you know where to go once you're in Singapore, right? 
you see, I usually will have floating or gas after food. So I will have fine time to help with my digestion. It also provides me with B vitamins. Oh, let me have one too. Thank you. So Ducy, how's your first time trying Futo Oyster Cake? It was great, I'll definitely try next time. So should you. Leave us a comment on our social media post and let us know what other Singapore food we should try next. See you next episode. Bye-bye.